Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a bit of Total War Pharaoh Dynasties. A uh, big, big thank you to CA for the early access to this to show this off. Uh, as you're probably already aware, we've already dropped a co-op campaign between myself and Tom, but I wanted to play some solo, and I wanted to pick something a bit different. So we have picked the minor faction, the uh, Lulubi? I have probably... Please tell me how to pronounce this properly down in the comments. These are a bit of a different faction. Uh, obviously we are starting in a corner, so it's a bit of a bit of a cheaty start. Um, I think we are kind of like um, barbarians from off the map, basically. But uh, we start with good resources, but no access to bronze, which, as this is the Bronze Age, is going to be quite an important thing. Um, but the key thing is, if I come out of here and we look, I mean, I, I get calls. cavalry. Which, obviously, I don't know how uh, historically accurate it is. I believe it probably isn't. Um, and we also get from our local recruitment, if I go into some of these, we get some really quite top-tier cavalry later on. Um, Good fortune uh, I, I, I can't all. seem to get it to, to... There you go. There we go. Some really good top-tier cavalry later on. By the way, apologies if you can hear the fan in the background. My, um, it is horrifically warm at the moment. So, there you go. Um, we are obviously starting in uh, Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. So, to start with, I think I'm going to try and take everything north of the rivers before we push into the fertile heartlands. But we'll... I mean, we've got a war going on to start with here. So, obviously, that's going to be our, our first port of call. Oh, they have, they have cavalry too. Ooh, first things first. I am going to go straight for some extra happiness there. And we are going to go straight to fight this guy. And obviously it is my first battle, so I have no choice but to fight. So I have a couple of what I'm assuming are yet light cavalry units. Um, Cimer Cimmerian or Chimrian. Simrian warriors um, and obviously some some horse archers as well which will be very useful for us uh, I, I like it being dry oh it's a nice location may only be achieved through it yeah okay I don't care about that Primed for battle so these are all tier three units so I want to be a bit careful with them. Obviously, oh, yeah, they've got Parthian shot. We want to make sure these guys have skirmish mode toggled. We're going to move these guys up onto there. Interestingly, my uh, general is a high tier bow unit as well, which I kind of like. So we're going to move up there. He's going to sit up here and pester. And we are going to try stop us. and pester them with our cavalry. With I am technically attacking, so they are, they are playing nicely the for us. Alongside a unit of body. Okay, 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 I don't care. Leave them in just a little bit. Get going. Do not kill. Fight with pride. Right, let's get, get my cavalry going. going. I want to try and take their cavalry out as quickly as possible, basically. Straight into the back of them. Good. The rest of them are coming up here, where my archers will be able to have fun. See the enemy break like Let's check. before the storm. Cut them down as they flee. Ooh, flaming shots. It's a shame they're not going through any territory I can set fire to. Good. We don't want to be engaging. Certainly don't want to be engaging their general. Do a lightning slam into them. 
Fight with pride. Insta break. We don't want to get caught. Archers, fire. Here they charge up the hill while facing a withering fire from my general. Gonna be able to break through that gap. I want to keep a bit of an eye. Spare the horses. Right, I want to get my light cavalry round. You can keep pestering the general. And get my light cavalry over here to support. That'd be very useful. Right, let's check. Switch to that. I should be able to shoot in. It does much more damage. Can I just open the out, out angle a bit more? You can keep pestering there. Let's slam my cavalry into them. And then we're going to come into the rear. Strike with precision. Have your troops take cover from the enemy missiles, or else seek out and destroy the cause of this threat. Oh, they broke one of my cavalry units. Oh, whoops, I didn't need to do that. Right, you guys are going to break formation. You're going to actually come around to the flank here as well. Good, they are breaking. That is good. Okay, you can slam into them. The enemy leader is no more. Now make work <laughs> we, the work of rest. We accidentally killed their general. Perfect. Let's get out because it's still dangerous. And they're breaking. Good. So that's interesting. You can kill their general without wiping out their army. Hundred percent going to get my cavalry in to chase the enemy down. And That'll do. I will take that. That was a nice. Solid victory for us there, guys. Uh, Ashbabara, our lord, has done well. Um, and I think it's time for us to have a look at her. I love those animations. We've proved ourselves today. I'm going to take the replenishment for now because I want you that. Punishment. Let's look at our ruling families. Shamash I do not me. have anything, so I can just uh, arrange... Raised in the wild. Ooh, reduces my chance of having. Because I'm a barbarian. Uh, that's not bad. Anyway, first things first. I actually, because you can do this through diplomacy. Everybody has their duty. I am destined to rule. Bag of gold? Mm. Or bronze blade? <sighs> Diplomacy is such a tiring matter. Troubled childhood. Maybe, maybe not. We must stand together. You seek cooperation? Or do you harbor hostile intentions? Oh, that's good, if I can get it. Make it work. Ooh, God, no. I'm not giving them a region for it. Can I not do a single time barter? Oh, that's annoying.
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just not. Oh, I was asking for stuff for them. Right fam. ideas for dull problems. You seek cooperation, or do you harbor hostile intentions? Right. Single barter. There we go. Your offer. Oh, it's all of my stone. Come on. It's quite a lot, but it, it does also give me a good solid alliance with these guys. Plus, she is much more likely to produce... Oop. Yeah. This is a there we go. She's much more likely to, to give us a child, which I think is an important thing in this to, to keep our family tree going. There we go. And she does give us some buffs as well, which is quite nice. Anyway, I guess we should start pushing this way. Through that region. And then start some recruiting. True master of the arts. I think I'd like another Poetry unit of cavalry, recycle. and I definitely want some more infantry. Your heart sing Oof, for blood. They are expensive, Come but uh, bronze is what I lack. But I have lots of gold, which I can always trade for some bronze as time goes on. Yep, yeah, let's get ourselves some... Oh, level up our regions. No, level up my regions first, but I do want the uh, the extra gold, but... Commandment. Probably want to start getting some favour with our gods. I love the idea of a warrior's refuges, which kind of give me random things, but that's also really good. For those two regions especially. Hey, I am out of Mula. And I have unassigned the skill points now. Hour. That's not bad. That's very good, though. Fatigue is huge. Being able to reduce your fatigue is a massive thing. I can make him a high level unit with the shields, melee unit instead. But I think for now, actually having him as an archer is really solid. Because you saw what he did there. But that is a very nice shield. And it causes fear. Well, that's a tricky one. Really high melee defense as well. For now, no, no, I'm giving him a shield. I prefer him as a frontline unit. I may regret that, but we've got the we've got the horse cavalry, the horse archers as well, for which we should be able to with my cavalry. Especially as the fact that I will be much more cavalry based than any of the other factions. We should be able to keep them moving nicely. We should be able to hopefully keep our enemies, you know, on the run. Honor and glory. This is gonna have a decent game. Fast and strong. Smite them to smithereens. Oh, can I get lots of ladders in one go? Yeah, I can get lots of ladders if I want to. Uh, 
And then if we keep going, we might get some... There we go, so we're going to continue our siege. Meanwhile, back home, I can't really afford much. Uh, what's that do? I'd have to say, I am really intrigued by the idea of these guys, uh, you know, 30% uh, chance for a random unit to join your garrison. I'm intrigued by that. That said, let us keep our deities, our deities, deities? Not a deity, a deity. Apparently I can build something somewhere? Ah. It's good with the workforce growth as well. The other thing I'm terrible at remembering to do in this, guys, is you really should be clicking on... As you're moving, you should be trying to touch your out, touch on your outposts. Odd. I always seem to get this when I'm playing Pharaoh. Oh, I am going to be falling back. Perhaps another time. Retreat! That's fine. That's fine, I can just cross over the border and wait. Soon the future will be mine. Cross back across the border and Marshal wait and build up. Let's just head back that way and build a fortification there for the time being. Dreams are plenty. To be fair, I don't need it, do I? Duty calls. Ah, so Ishtar. What does Ishtar give us? Um, that's not bad. Reduces construction cost, extra happiness, which is always good. The prayer. That's really good. I, it's useful for getting a big family, I guess. And dwellings. I forget this. This is like a special building you can get, I think. So extra happiness, extra work, good workforce growth. Growth. So dwelling of Ishtar. Uh, which is two happiness, 25 favor, plus four workforce growth. It's quite... Nice, actually. But first I am best I should actually be increasing him. Uh, melee defense fifty eight. Dwell and the swell. I need to start getting some more bronze. How long Unsurprisingly, will nobody last? will confederate with me. Right. I'm sure it used to tell me what people are ah, here. True master of Everybody has their duty. Ten bag of gold. So I need I somebody ideally with red we bronze. Must. Everybody has what? bronze in we short supply stand. up here. God damn Everybody it. Everybody has the bag of gold. The future. Everybody has their duty. I am. You seek cooperation, or do I you have non-aggression back? And I want some of your bronze. 
And I will give you gold. Apparently I can get quite a lot of bronze off him. I think that's worth it. There we go. So for 10 turns, can I up it? Yeah, for 10 turns I'll be getting 130 bronze there. 450 gold and 10. That's solid. I solemnly Whether it lasts is a different matter. So what are you telling me? Why why are we highlighting this? I can't devote a general. I can convert a building. Uh, keep track of currently constructed religious buildings and manually rededicate them to... Okay. There we go. Apparently I'm rededicating a building. I thought it was to him anyway, but apparently it wasn't. We'll see. The future belongs to us. Hmm. I want to push up to this one first, the movement speed. And yeah, we're going to keep building up this army a bit. Don't have any special recruitment at the moment. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. I am in no rush here to be a smashing out around the place. What you may notice with this is, especially compared to Warhammer, which is what I play most of the time, turn times take, it takes much longer to do turns than this. There's much more to do, which is kind of nice. And verse. I can... I am confused. We must stand together. I see comrades with vision. All right, let's get up to these Bolster guys. The ranks. Soldiers, join with me. Cavalry is quite expensive in bronze. That's the problem. There you go. It's a nice mixture. They're not bad, actually, these archers. Uh, extra legitimacy ain't bad. God dedication slots. Extra bronze will be useful long run. That's everything I can do. I do want to dedicate my uh, general eventually, but that's, you know, it's worth having generals dedicated to various gods. He may not be the best god, but he'll do. Get ourselves a nice big family, which gives us generals with extra experience, which is really, really solid for us, so. I already have a child. See, this is because they're a relative. Uh, relative generals receive additional experience per turn, which is good for us. Right ideas for dull problems.
True master of the arts. I am destined to rule. The future belongs Ooh, to us. Ooh, choose an ambition. Have at least a thousand gold. Hold five sediments. Ooh. Capture or occupy any settlement. I mean, both those are quite good. That gives me Path of Conquest, which is useful. I'm going to go for that one. On my way! Toward new horizons. Head down towards I need the border. 13. I don't want to be going nuts then. I think I've got enough cavalry in this. Let's give well a and the of swell. bog standard, guys. Am I missing something? Should level this up. I mean, I should also get that. What I'm lacking is stone. Tell you what, let's grab myself a dwelling, cause happy people give me more stuff. So I feel a bit bad. We've kind of been very slow so far, but we're only on like turn three or four. There are so many factions in this game. Garrison here, let's take it. Let us reevaluate. Oh, whoops, wrong bottom. Besiege their home. Keep them trapped. Go. So I am going to get one of these because I want to see what it does. See, I really should. Grab the guard towers, but... For now, I'm going to chill. Guard towers obviously give me more defences, and while I'm in a corner, which is useful, surrounded by mountains, I don't know where the end, where we're going to get barbarians appearing from later on. So, obviously not sea people, but other people may migrate into my territory. So, my destiny unfolds. We'll see, right? Ooh. The battlefield awaits. I don't think I need to fight that one. Yeah. They will sing of our triumph. Only death will pardon them. Burn it to the Burn ground. Desire. We must go there. We must hide. I'm gonna sit an ambush stance here, just in case the enemy does get tempted to move forwards. 
Ooh. Nice. We got a level weapon as well. Uh, replenishment, please. Nope, I'm not spending any money at the moment. I'm saving up. I'm trying to save all my resources for other things, for when I'm expanding. Having a bit of a buffer is always useful. You see, the other thing is he would have reinforced this city, so... Actually, being able to push in here is good. Ooh. Dreams are plenty. What does this do? Fortitude. I'm going to go down this one. Finish up going down this one. Straight into siege. Let none escape. Hmm. Does give me more stone. I've got plenty of stone. Level up the settlement then. Gives me a better garrison. We then get the towers. Oh, I'm on the sea up here. I hadn't realised. Uh, a river? Can't be the sea. Big, big river. Yeah. Lake. My geography is hurting my brain at the moment. They did not the come, which blood. means I think it is time to take our first settlement and fulfill our ambition. Oh, that was brutal. Fulfill our place. ambition. There we go. And straight occupy. Without bloodshed or chaos. Soon nice. the will be mine. A child is born. Bright ideas for dull problems. My dynasty grows. The finest hour. Your nice. Now we're going to get some very blood. basic units Tumbling. here, but definitely worth grabbing some basic units. Now this is what I'm intrigued by. Ah, so they do get the cavalry. These are our native barracks rather than my own barracks. So, yeah. I am looking... What I'm really after is bronze assessment, so we are going to be pushing down this way fast. Nice, that is part of this region. So we will be getting ourselves some bronze production soon. So this felt like it feels like it was a good way to push. He is up to 17 units. True that is something I need to pay attention arts. to. I see comrades with vision. Let's get some people to sit behind my lines. Oh, I can level here straight up. Let's do that. Let's see what we've got. That's not bad. Not going to mess around too much with that at the moment. More gold, please. I would be foolish not to go for the more gold. But I've just taken that guy's capital, which is really, really solid for us. So we are in a good position now.
He is retreating. Ooh. No. My cavalry will sweep through this area of the world. Oh, we have access to a path of power. So I could go for forge your own path or select a royal tradition. I'm not in any of the royal traditions. This is a disregard tradition to strike out on your own, leaving your mark in history. In the end, crowns only weigh you down. So that's cool. I can ignore it or I can take the buffs which one of these would give me. But I'd have to push into their territories. That's cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a think about that for a moment because I don't know if I gain anything from doing my own path. A click. To learn more. Path of Marauders. Regions raised. Uh, I must l raise at least one one thing. So that's what. Must your armies to raise everything in sight. Gather eminence. You can gain eminence from performing aggressive actions to fighting ballots. Uh, raise settlements without fight. Uh, raise a settlement without a fight, and turn its native population into an army under your control. Bribe troops, acquire significantly more resources you raise. Uh, I don't kind of like the idea of that though, so I'm probably going to wait for a royal tradition, one of the Mesopotamian royal traditions. We're getting there. We are getting there. Okay, now I regret destroying these outposts. Uh, but this feels like a good place for us to stop, having started our expansion. Uh, we're probably gonna, gonna try and clear the rest of their territory sooner rather than later. Again, and then we're gonna start trying to numb up everything, you know, numb up along the river and get some of the Mesopotamian influences into our territory, but with a cavalry corps from our capital. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this playthrough and want to see more. Other than that, as always, uh, pop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And an extra special thank you to our channel members and Patreons. That is Monsterbound, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Ritaru, Gavin, Jason Air, Nubia and Kenobi, Scrin, Jared Horn, Space Ace 475, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.